In a surprise assault, riot police swarmed the capital of Bahrain in the early morning hours on Thursday, swinging clubs, tearing down tents, and firing tear gas on demonstrators, many of whom were still sleeping. Medical officials said five people died in the attack, and more than 200 were wounded. Hours later, the military announced it had key parts of the capital under its control. They also said gatherings were banned. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton called Bahrain's foreign minister, telling him about Washington's, quote, deep concern. Uh, we call on restraint uh, from the government to keep its commitment to hold accountable uh, those who have utilized excessive uh, force against peaceful demonstrators. Bahrain's foreign minister responded, saying the crackdown was necessary but regrettable. He also said the deaths were being investigated. The country was walking on the, on the, on the brink of a sectarian abyss. So uh, we, it was a very important step that uh, had to happen. Police took every care possible. Bahrain streets were mostly empty after the bloody attack. But thousands defied authorities by marching in cities in Libya and Yemen. It's all part of a wave of political unrest spreading across the Middle East gaining momentum after uprisings toppled leaders in Egypt and Tunisia. Nicole Grether, The Associated Press.